I really, really like these scout weapon concept videos. So much so that today I am bringing you a brand new one. And instead of showing you guys another scattergun concept, because we've done that a few times before, I'm going to mix it up a little bit and I'm going to show you guys a really cool pistol concept that I found instead. Also, before we get into it, it was hard for me to get good gameplay with the pistol because I'm an idiot. So please don't judge me too hard. I've tried my best. This is all I can ask for. So I guess what I'm going to be calling it in this video is just the silenced pistol, but the actual game banana page called it Jasper's handgun. I don't know if the guy who made it was just called Jasper and this is his handgun, or it's a reference that I have completely missed. If it is, I'm very sorry. If it's not, hi Jasper. And as you can see, this pistol is a really cool black pistol with a suppressor on it. I have always said that a suppressed pistol would be really, really cool in TF2 and something a lot different for the scout to use. And then obviously the NG as well, because he can also use the pistol. Now, I obviously know that there's the Hitman's Heat Maker and the Cleaner's Carbine, but something for scout would be cool, all right? I'm a scout main and I, I'm a, I mean, I'm a sniper main as well, but that doesn't matter. I just wanted something silenced that is cool for the scout. Also, pure black weapons in TF2 look really cool, and I think we need more of them. Okay, so let's talk about what this pistol would actually do. Now, this specific skin replaced the Pretty Boy's Pocket Pistol. However, I think because of the actual way it looks, it would act more like the regular pistol rather than the Pretty Boy's. Now, obviously, because it has a massive suppressor on it, the sound coming from the gun would be a lot quieter. It wouldn't be completely silent, but it would be a lot, lot quieter. Also, a lot of people were saying in the silencer weapon concept that I showed you guys a while ago that it would be cool if there was no damage indicator while shooting from a silenced weapon. That way, people don't actually know where they've been shot from because the weapon is silenced and it's meant to be a little bit more sneaky, which actually would be a really, really cool concept. And I think this gun should have it. I'm not sure exactly how it would be balanced. I'm not sure how it would work or if it would be overpowered or anything like that in TF2. But for now, let's just say that this weapon has no damage indicators on it. Also, by the way, if you're new to this channel and not already subscribed, just like the 70% of people who are watching this video right now, if you could click the subscribe button for me, that would be absolutely amazing. It's just gone Christmas, so that could be a little bit of a late present to me. It would mean a lot. Thank you so much. So, what else should this weapon do? Well, the suppressor on this pistol could make the accuracy a little bit better and make the bullets spread a lot tighter so the bullets to the pistol don't go nearly as far as a regular pistol would. I know suppressors can work either way on some weapons, so it could make it way less accurate or it can make it way more accurate. I googled it a little bit. I had a quick read. That's what I found. And I feel like that is something that a lot of people would find a lot more helpful because pistol bullet spread or bloom is very, very bad a lot of the time for scout. You can have your crosshair on somebody the whole time you're shooting and out of the whole clip you fire, you could hit two shots, which yeah, not very fun. But obviously, if you want this bullet spread reduced by a good amount, which I kind of do, you'd have to give this weapon a penalty. Since it looks just like the regular pistol, a reduced clip isn't really on the cards, so it will have to be a damage penalty. I'm not sure how much damage to reduce here because I don't want this weapon to be completely useless, but I also don't really want it to be on the border of being the absolute best pistol ever, meaning no other pistol will ever get used ever again. So... I was thinking 10 or 15%. Now, you can move this damage penalty up or down as you see fit, but the way I've done it is because the bloom is going to be so much smaller on this pistol, you're actually going to end up hitting way more shots than you would with the regular one. So hopefully that will make up a little bit of the damage that you've lost from the damage penalty because you'll be hitting more. So that then means that the main focus and the main benefit of using this weapon is the no damage indicator and the pretty much silent bullets. I'm not the best at balancing weapons. I think that is abundantly clear throughout all of these videos. I suck at this. I'm just suggesting stats that you guys can then also change yourselves or agree with or, you know, say what you think it should be. This isn't my area of expertise in TF2. I just like looking at cool skins people are making. <laughs> So there we have it, the silenced pistol or Jasper's handgun, whichever you want to call it. Now I would love to see something like this get added into TF2. Even if it's not this exact skin, there's so many silenced pistol skins that are out there that would be absolutely amazing to be brought into the game. Is Valve going to do that anytime soon? No, probably not. But it's always good to keep up hope, at least a little bit. Saves us all from being really, really sad all the time. 
But anyway, there we have it. Thank you all so much for watching the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you leave it a like and also subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you all tomorrow with another video. Goodbye.